Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to work with Nest Movie Clips. Once we create Movie Clip symbols, its timeline is nested inside the main timeline of the document. So it becomes a child of the document, and the document becomes a parent of the symbol. You can also nest Movie Clips instance inside another Movie Clip symbols. For this example, I will use this butterfly that I have drawn using the pen tool. I have two different symbols which is the body of the butterfly and the right wing. Now let's animate the right wing to make it look like it's moving. So let's create a new movie clip symbol based on this one. So I click the movie clip, then right click, and then convert to symbol. I'm gonna use a movie clip, let's type and let's name it right wing animate it then click OK OK now I have created my new movie clip and you can check that in the library it's here now if I double click this movie clip as you can see it's called right wing animated movie clip and if I double click this wing again then I have the right wing movie clip which was the first symbol that I had when I started the, the tutorial. So that means that the right wing is the child of the right wing animated, and the right wing animated is the child of the talk of the main timeline of the document. Now let's animate this wing to make it looks like it's moving. So let's go back to right wing animated movie clip. So first of all, let's make sure that the registration point of these symbols is on the left side. So I will check that by selecting the movie clip and then selecting the free transform tool from the tools panel. As you can see, currently my registration point is in the center of the symbol. But I need to move it to the left side. So once I modify this symbol, it will be based on this registration point. So now that I'm happy with the location of the registration point, then I can create my keyframes for the animation. So right click on frame 5 and then insert keyframe and then right click on frame 10 and then insert keyframe. So now I have my three stages of my animation. So I can go to the frame number 5 and then I can modify my symbol so I select my win and then transformation tool and I can change its width so as you can see as I'm changing the size of this symbol notice that it's actually based on my registration point so that will be affect only that side of the movie clip so let's make it half okay. okay so now let's animate it so let's select all the frames and then right click and create a classic twin now if I press enter I can actually see how it looks okay now I can go to back to the main timeline so click on scene 1 now, for the left wing, instead of creating a new wing and animate it again, I'm going to reuse this symbol that I have already created and animated. So what I'll do is duplicate this, um, this movie clip. So just select uh, the symbol and then go to edit menu and copy and then paste in place. So this actually it's facing the symbol in the same place where it was the other symbol so what I will do is actually um, flip the movie clip horizontally so I can place it in the right side of the of the butterfly so I go to modify menu and then transform and then flip horizontal 
so that's it so now I've got ready my left wing so I can just place it in the right position of the body of the butterfly I'll do the same with the right wing so that's basically what we need and now let's create a movie clip with all these symbols so let's select all the symbols and then right click and convert the symbol and because this is my final symbol with all the elements that I need let's name it just butterfly and click so now I have this main movie clip which is called, if I go to the properties panel butterfly and it's my only object on my stage but actually if I double click this movie clip I can see that I have my three different movie clips inside of butterfly movie clip and inside of butterfly movie clip if I click this one then I can see that I have the right wing animated movie clip and then I have body movie clip and this one which is actually the same movie clip remember that we just copy and paste it and then we flipped the movie clip horizontal just to make it look like it's in the left side so let's test this movie so we can go to control menu and then test movie and test you can also press control enter or command return on your Mac so that's it that's the animation as you can see we have used just one symbol to actually represent the left wing and we're using one main symbol to combine different symbols which is nesting so now that I have my animation in place now I can include more details to make it looks better or I can actually duplicate my movie clip my instance if I want to I can just copy control C and paste it control V and I can reuse it I can transform the movie clip and I will be able to use it so this is how I have improved the animation I have different instances of the same movie clip the butterfly and I have changed the, its properties and I have also insert of uh, different objects such as the sun and the mountains and the flowers now if I go to the document you can see that I have different layers with all of the different objects that I have included and for the butterflies I have created a basic uh, motion guide so that actually makes it move around and if I check this movie clip as you can see it's actually the same movie clip that we created so I just duplicate it, I just copy and paste it and then I modify its properties so for this one for example I change the blur property and the same for the other ones so there's still the same movie clip I just change its properties to make it look different so that's all for this tutorial of how to create nest movie clips in flash CS5 thanks for watching